Hello, this is Don with Mechsoft Support. In this short video, I wanted to take a moment to show you the interface in Visual Cam 2016. As you can see, I have Visual CAD loaded and I have a part already loaded. Now, after you install Visual Cam 2016, you'll see the Visual Cam 2016 menu appear on the Home tab of Visual CAD's ribbon bar. If you don't see that menu after you install the product, you can load it manually by selecting the Application Manager and checking the box next to Visual Cam 2016. Now, on this Visual Cam uh, main menu, you have several options. The first thing I want to talk about is the Learning option. If you pick that, you will see this dialog contains many resources that you can use to learn more about the product. We have quick start guides you can access from here, online help for each module. So let's close that. Also from the main menu, you can display the different plug-in browsers uh, included vis with VisualCam. You have the free mill browser, the milling browser, the turning browser, the nesting browser, and the art browser. These other options also allow you to check for updates. You can check your license status or uh, transfer your license to another machine. Go to our website and select the help or get more about more information about the product. Let's go ahead and load the mill module interface. You see that we have a browser that displayed on the left side in two sections, we have the machining browser at the top and the machining objects browser down here. Now, you don't have to have these uh, on the left. You can move them around anywhere you want. For example, if you want to move the, uh, the machining objects browser, just left click and grab it and move it anywhere on the screen. You can put it over here. You can move it over here, say at the bottom or on the right side. For now, we'll just leave it at the bottom. Also, in Visual Cam 2016, on the machining browser, you have a series of tabs up here at the top. This first button allows you to switch between the mill and turn modules. So if you select that button, you'll be in the turn module browser. Pick it again, you go back to the milling module browser. And also, this next button allows you to turn the machining objects browser on and off. So if for some reason you don't see the machining objects browser down here, just pick this button and it'll display for you. We also have two tabs and a ribbon bar at the top of the machining browser, a program tab and a simulate tab. On the program tab, have your main options for creating and setting up your tool paths to machine. We have three groups here and we work in them from left to right. Here you got the machining setup group where you can define the machine, your post, your setup parameters. You have your stock section where you can create your stock, align your stock, and, and assign material to your stock. Then of course you have all of your machining operations uh, under each menu for each type of operation. You can begin here with the work zero where you can assign a work zero to uh, your workpiece. You have your two axis operations, your three axis operations, four axis, five axis, and then your hole making operations. You also have miscellaneous operations that you can create and uh, knowledge base operations. On the simulate tab, you have a preferences button that allows you to assign preferences and default parameters for simulations. You also have uh, operations to control the playback of your uh, toolpath simulations. Down here on the machining objects area of the browser, you have four tabs. You have a tools tab, a regions tab, a features tab, and a knowledge basis tab. The tools tab, of course, is used to create your machine tools and if you want to save and load uh, tool libraries. The regions tab allows you to create predefined regions from your part and to use them in your machining operations. Creating regions allows you to have more control 
uh, over the properties of the regions that you create toolpaths from. Under the Features tab, we have whole feature recognition tools that allows you to automatically recognize whole features in your part and uh, speeds up the process of creating uh, toolpaths for those whole features. Then we also have a knowledge base tab that allows you to load and save your toolpath knowledge bases. And you can also uh, set your cam preferences by selecting this option here and allows you to set your interface options, machining options, your simulation options that we mentioned, your feeds and speeds, and your cutting tools options. And also, you have uh, ad additional CAM utilities up here. You can access the uh, G-Code editor, the post-process generator, and a new feature in 2016 that allows you to explode a cabinet design and create a flat pattern uh, of a cabinet uh, assembly design. And then also, of course, you can display your online help with the CAM module. If you want more information, you can visit us on the web at www.mixsoft.com. Thank you.